ABC. Uh, Chad Everett here doing a video for Record Store Day 2014. Of course, Record Store Day is coming up this Saturday, April the 19th. Uh, playing in the background, Shabazz Palaces. A lot of KEXP, that's from 2012, Record Store Day. Um, just making a video to talk about what I'm hoping to pick up this year. Uh, this Saturday, uh, I made a Record Store Day video for Black Friday, and it's by far the most viewed video I've ever had on this channel. Um, and people seem to really like that video, and I'm going to be making another video probably this Saturday, showing what I'm able to pick up. Uh, we can talk about Record Store Day, you know, till the, till the cows come home, as the old saying goes. There's a lot of different opinions on it. A lot of people hate what it's become. I'm a big proponent of Record Store Day, and that's because it's one of the few traditions in my lifetime that I've actually participated in every single year. I was there with the first one seven years ago. And uh, it's just something I look forward to every year. And I think it, it's good to help these, these local stores. If you talk to them, it's by far the biggest day of the year for them. Uh, so many more people come out that day than don't. You know, with, with us in the VC, it is Record Store Day almost every day of the year. But it's a special thing, and I think they do have a lot of cool things. So there's, I got 10 things I got my list here. I got 10 things on my list. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to tell you what they are and then on Saturday see what I'm able, actually able to come up with. I keep going back and forth on whether I'm going to get up early and wait in line. I haven't really decided yet. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I've done that in the past. And also in the past I've went like as late as like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. So uh, we'll just see. I don't know if I'm going to take the plunge or not. But most of these things are not going to be very hard to find, I don't think. And some of them I just don't think a lot of people are going to want. So I don't. I never really know what people are looking for in Record Store Day. I know on Black Friday, or maybe it was last year, like the White Stripes Elephant, that sold out really quick. Everyone wanted that. There's some things that you can tell are going to sell well. But anyway, here's the, the 10 things on my list that I'm going to be looking for. Out of like, by the way, I think there's like 600 releases. So I whittled it down. My first list was like 25 things, and I was like, I don't, I don't have that much money to spend on this stuff. So anyway, 10 things. Uh, first one, Devo Fleming Lips, side by side. Uh, that's the Rhino side by side series. They're both doing a cover of Gate of Steel, the, the Devo song. It's really cool. I've got some Fleming Lips, seven inches from past Record Store Day, um, with Mastodon, some things like that. So getting that for the Fleming Lips collection, that's 6,900 pieces. That should be pretty easy to find. Um, should be really easy to find actually. Uh, second seven inch, there's only two seven inches I wanted that one, and this other one is the Frank Zappa Don't Eat the Yellow Snow seven inch, which is uh, it's going to be actually on um, pea colored vinyl. And I think the, the Fleming Lips is actually going to be on steel covered vinyl, but the, the Zappa, I have the one from last year. This is a I'm the Slime on like slime colored vinyl, I guess we call it slime green vinyl. This is the one from last year with I'm the Slime backed by uh, backed with. Montana. So keeping, you know, trying to collect the Zappa stuff. And of course, if you all watch the channel, I'm a pretty big Zappa fan. So that's kind of cool. Those are the only two seven inches I'm looking for. I'm not much of a seven inch collector. I do some pieces here and there. Moving on, I'm going to get the Flaming Lips. Uh, Sky 7H3 12 inch. That's the 24 hour song. They've edited it down to 55 minutes, which is kind of incredible. Um, and I think that's clear vinyl. Uh, also, I'm going to get the William Onyibor Watt remix. Uh, it's a 12 inch. Uh, both, okay, yeah, that Zappa, that's, that's 3,500 copies, should be easy to find. And the Seven Skies H3 is 7,100, so that should be easy to find as well. Uh, the William Onyibor, that's limited to 1,450 pieces. You start getting into a little bit trickier territory there. But uh, I don't know how many people even know who William Onibar is. He's very, very celebrated in the VC, and rightfully so. Who is William Onibar is one of the, it's just incredible. Um, but this is a tribute album to that sort of, with people like uh, Hot Chip and others doing covers of that whole album. And it's uh, on David Byrne from Talking, Talking Heads record label. 
So I definitely want to check that out and see see what that is. Uh, also, moving on, Tame Impala is, has a live uh, album coming out with different reworking live versions of some of their songs. Uh, I believe it's just called Live Versions. It's limited to 5,000 copies. That should be pretty easy to find and should be really awesome. Um, so there's five things I'm looking for. The last five, uh, The Rough Guide to Psychedelic Bollywood. Uh, the Rough Guide series, they did several last year, and they didn't really sell well at my record store. Um, I can't remember what the ones were last year, but uh, Psychedelic Bollywood, that sounds awesome, and actually previewed some of it on Spotify, it was just killer stuff. Uh, that's limited to 1,200 pieces, that, again, uh, might be kind of hard to find, but I don't, I think I shouldn't have any problem getting it. Uh, another thing I want to get is The Liar's Mess on a Mission 12-inch, which actually is clear with yarn in it, or yarn in the 12-inch, which I've never seen a record with actual yarn in it. I think that's going to be amazing. It's a must-have. I really, really want to get that one. It's limited to a 1,000 pieces, so probably that will probably be the toughest thing to find. I'm, I'm, well, there might be one of this last one, but um, that'll be tough, uh, tough to find, because your record store may have one or two of them one, two, three at the most, so, that, and that's something that people are probably going to want to get just because of the yarn, even people that don't know who Liars are, but I love that Liars album, I've, I've said it on this channel, it's the album of the year for me so far, so I really want to get that one. Last three things, the Sun Ra, uh, double 12 inch coming out, double 12, two, it's, a, it's a double LP, Outer Space Wear, it's limited to a thousand copies, I don't really know what it is as far as the Sun Ra timeline or what stuff is going to be on it, but a uh, huge Sun Ra fan, so that's awesome, I'll have to get that. Uh, last two things, and that's going to do a thousand pieces, that might be kind of tough as well. Uh, last two things, Public Enemy takes a nation of millions to hold us back, this is a reissue. From what I understand, no crazy colored vinyl or anything, but that's been out of print on vinyl for a long time. Obviously classic hip-hop album that I've really wanted for my collection for a long time. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. That's limited to 2,000 copies, according to the Record Store Day side. So should shouldn't have a problem getting that. And lastly, Omar Suleiman, Jazeera Nights. It's a folk music of Syria. Sounded previewed some of it on YouTube. Sounded just incredible. Uh, especially for like hip hop fans, it'd be incredible stuff to sample off of. But it's um, limited to 800 pieces. So. That is, uh, statistically speaking, the rarest thing that uh, that I'll find, but I do live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm not knocking that, but I don't know how many people want to listen to folk music of Syria and around here, so I'm, I'm thinking I might be able to pick that one up. So, anyway, yeah, ten, ten things. Devo, Fleming Lips, Frank Zappa, Another Lips, William Onibor, Tame Impala, Psychedelic Bollywood, Liars Mess on a Mission, Sun Ra, Public Enemy, and Omar Suleiman, and I also want to pick up that... Uh, Dustin Grooves book that everyone's been showing looks phenomenal. I gotta get that thing. So, uh, and I would also, you know, a couple other things I would like to get the LCD sound system. It's a long goodbye set, but I just don't know if I'll be able to afford it. It's probably going to be up about 150 bucks. Um, so that that's that's a maybe. We'll see how I'm doing financially. Um, and the Dustin Groove books, I think it's going to be like 60 bucks, but that, that'll be worth it. I, I'll, I'll probably pick that up. Uh, there are a few other things that were just like maybes, because, you know, on these 10, these 10 items, I'm hoping to find, you know, 7 or 8 of them. Uh, I guess if I get there early, I should be able to find all 10 of them. The David Lynch on Sacred Bones, that's a maybe for me as well. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to trying to think. It was an impressive list this year. There was a lot of cool, a lot of cool shit on it. Um, I, I really thought that it would not continue to grow because in my record store there's been a decrease the, the, a lot of the stuff's not been selling some of the stock's still there from Black Friday but uh, it did continue to grow it's huge uh, I know a lot of people are probably going to be wanting that Bowie 1984 picture disc I don't have any of the Bowie picture discs but this one looks pretty cool because it's a picture of him and William S. Burroughs um, but I don't know we'll see anyway happy record store day I hope you go participate Tune back in Saturday to this channel, and I will have a Record Store Day video up, and I'll talk about my experiences. And also, what are you looking forward to in Record Store Day? Um, make a comment, you know, if you feel like it, and tell me what you think 
is going to be cool and maybe there's something I'm missing out on. So anyway, hope you all are doing well. Have a good night.